Well, everything I make ain't that great. But you guys rule with a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. It's been a long time since I made a video. I would say that I forgot how to make them. But, uh, truth is I never knew in the first place. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the pool house. We're back at it. Let's hop into it. First one comes to us from Xuan An, and this is a logo for an online shop that'll sell tote bags. This idea is so cute, so clever. I love you can see the little, the little kitty ears. That's so fun. I think we need to add some color and then we can also simplify it while still getting the same idea and maybe even making the idea even better. I hope so. I'm gonna make it really drawn-ish. First off, let's grab kind of a cardboard box color and draw out a little box here. And I'm going to forego the whole concept of a 3D box like you have, because I think we can get the same concept, but uh, just simplify it and make it a little bit cuter. Do like a, do an ear over there, ear over, well, ear over here. And then we can make the head something like that. Yes, sir. And then, since the cat is in the box, let's move it to the back. Let's give our cat a little bit of pink inside the ears. Okay, here we go. Boom, and Boom. Sure. Done. <laughs> He's a peasy. Let him squeezy. I want to make like the, a fold of the box. So I'm going to go here. It's going to go overlap the outside a little, a little wee bit. And then it's going to connect to the top. Make it like that. Let's make it our cardboard box color. But then we'll just make it a little bit lighter because the light is hitting it more. And then I want to add a little bit of a shadow that goes below here. Something like this. I think it's totally fine if we just mush it. Ain't nothing but a G thing. All right, let's add some like background here, colorful background. I'm going to make it like a light, a light blue. Something very kind. Oh look, the kitty's entering a world of, of kindness. And then, and then, and then, maybe we can add a little bit of a shadow type deal under the box like this. And let's make it like a, like a purplish. A lot of people use purples for shadow type things. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I consider myself a cutesy person, not a cute person. There's a big difference. <laughs> okay, now um, we wanna hit do in your font here. Let me take some time out to find a good font. So uh, this font is called Dr. Seuss, S-O-O-S. -O -O -S. <laughs> How fun is that? Make it a little bit more playful if we like arch the font up top, so. Well, let's do that. Guys, my spelling is getting so much better. If you've been following the channel, if you've been a design champion for a long time, you'll know that I've always had issues with spelling. But uh, my spelling's on the up and up. Look at that, I got the hidden kitten, totally correct. <laughs> oh, look at that, Zimri. So Shuai An, those are the changes I would suggest for the hidden kitten. I think if we look at it from straight on, uh, we can simplify it and then also even make the idea a little bit more clear and then uh, if we make our box look a little bit more like a box that kittens like to play with in the house and then if we just add these some playful colors like this and we make our we incorporate our font in a playful way I think it really works you know it's really fun it's cute but uh, well, let me know in the poll right now if you think it's not cute yeah let's go with cuter or muter <laughs> yeah let me know vote right now thank you design champions very good job everyone triple snaps Thank you so much, Shuan for sending this in. I really appreciate you allowing me to work on the project. This one comes from Ilma, and uh, she said she's like a cognitive science student, so I'm confused about why she needs a logo, but also, this is the logo. Pretty awesome. Maybe the I is the left, left brain and H is the right brain. Maybe you've conquered both territories. So how you've made the folds in the brain is pretty interesting. We'll still get that in there, but we can simplify it and then hopefully make it look the folds look a little bit more like a brain. What I wanna do with this is, I actually wanna amp up your outlines, maybe a lot, kinda of like there or something. That's fun, let's go with that. I wanna actually change your font to something just a little bit bolder and maybe has our H not as fancy schmancy. So let me, let me go font searching, see what I can come up with. Okay, I found this font, it's called Voltage. Hmm, <laughs> how interesting. And um, let's make a white. I'm gonna put it on top of the brain here. 
Yes, sir. Now, I kind of don't want anything to overlap on our lines, so I'm gonna get rid of the middle line on the brain here. All right, there we are. That's looking kind of cool. Now, I want the outlines of the brain to not be black. Yes, sir, madame, sir. So we wanna kind of follow the side of the edges here. I think we can come in like that possibly come in like this. So we go like this, perhaps. Sunlight is right in my eyeballs, and then it makes the screen look really dark. I'm having difficulty, send help. I think it looks a little bit like an IN right now. Make our tall thing a little bit taller, maybe like that or something. I'm gonna make it blue again. That's how we roll. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, Ilma, those are the changes I would suggest. I just wanted to clean it up, make it a little bit more simple. But uh, thank you very much, Ilma, for sending this to me. And I wish you and all of us design champions wish you the best of luck in the continuation of your uh, degree. Okay, let me know in the poll right now whether we die cued it or fly cued it. It's a playoff IQ. Yeah, you guys, you guys get it. <laughs> all right, number three, my friends. This one comes to us from Johannes. He said it's a company that will um, make like puzzle games to get people to come to booths at like trade shows and such. So it's, it's really interesting. And I like the name Stress, wow. So what I wanna do is, I think these are really great colors, but let's do some like custom typography here. Let's see if we can do it. There's no way I'm gonna create custom typography in like two minutes, so so don't get angry at me. Make a little S, make it loop de poop de except for without the poopty part. <laughs> Just make it loopty if you can. I always get problems with sizing of letters when I do this kind of stuff. Okay, and then we'll put our R down here probably. Oh yeah, let me know in the comments below whether you guys feel stress or not. Okay, I hate this R, but hopefully we can fix it afterward. Let's add an E. Like that, sir, like that, sir. There you go. Okay, let's just copy this S like a lazy boss. Oh, sure, let's just do it like that. Forget about anything in life. Okay, Johannes, I think one of the best parts of your design is these these guys, so let's absolutely keep these in. All right, Johannes, so basically I just freehanded those letters on here. So that's why obviously there's tons of issues with the curves in the corners and the E is like insane. Look at the top part of the E, messed up. So if I had a bunch of time, I'd go in and, and make the font actually look good and then make the layout like a lot more like a like the puzzles fitting into each other. But uh, that's the changes I would suggest. I think if we go with uh, more of a custom font that makes it a little bit more fun, and then also you can get kind of a puzzle vibe by how the letters are put together, I think doing something like that would be absolutely tremendous. Anyways, those are the changes I would suggest. Me and all the design champions are wishing the best of success for the future of stress. <laughs> Not for ourselves, just for you. <laughs> that sounds bad. All right, everybody, let's do elbow claps for our man, Johannes. Very good job. Vote in the poll right now whether we improved it or joofed it. Thank you very much. All right, next one comes to us from Najee. This is a logo for his racing team. Pretty cool. And thank you, Najee, for sending this to me. Elite Racers. Did you know Michael Schumacher thanked me for teaching him how to drive once? Right now, I think your font needs a little bit of personality. So let's see what we got. All right, this might be interesting. This is just Myanmar. All right, let's give it like a 20 angle there. Let's do like that. Now we have our speed of motion in the font itself. Thank you very much. Speedometer idea is really cool. So let's let's see if I can make something like that. And then I want to cut our circle like there, okay? Because that'll be our red line point. And um, Najee, your red is kind of like wine right now. We want to make it like like a speed red. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll make a little circle at the bottom if we can. There we go. So we can have some space between there and there. Oh yeah, now we have a really simplified, really speedy looking uh, speedometer. And let's just put it in your, put it in the corner there. I think we're staying true to your idea, kind of, sort of. I think if we do something like boom, boom, bam, boom, bam, and then we change it to like that, and then it's like a kind of a thing and a shadow. Yeah, I like it. That way it puts it all into one surface. And, and makes a shadow with just like two, uh, one shape there. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's better red. Is it though, Zimri? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's make our font a little bit closer. All right, there we go. Fonts closer together. 
stuff like that, yada yada yada. Let's just keep this one simple. Let's keep it very simple. Keep it like the orridge. I think with our font, and then we can we can add some spice of life with the font, and then we if we angle it, make it a little bit faster looking. Very good job. Thank you for the sending this in, Naji. Everyone, let's do some of these things. Don't know what that's called. Uh, let me know in the poll right now, design champos, whether we sped it up or if we gave it a traffic ticket. Oh, that was it for all the redesigns today. Only cuatro. All right, next one in our cool logos of the week section. This one comes to us from Newman Khan. Um, basically, it's his name. And I think that like all the spacing and the width of the letters are all the exact same, which Feels really good to me, mm, like a jacuzzi. And the geometry of it really brings it all together. Very good job, Newman. And I think uh, we can have a poll as to how you want to lay it out. Let's all help out Newman right now. One, two, or san. Okay, thank you very much, Newman, great job. Our next excellent logo of the week comes from Mabel Perez, or also AKA Mookie. <laughs> this is one of my all time favorite logos, apparently. I didn't know this until I saw it. This is a cat, and the amount of uh, expression in the cat with the simplicity, I think, is a, a fine line to walk, and you've walked it in your boots that are made for walking. You can see how, like, the left side of the cat's ear is, is longer, and it gives a little bit of a leaning the head of the cat. I think that helps a lot for the personality and expression of the cat while, while still being super simple. I like the font, Mookie. Um, and then Mabel Perez is nicely placed down there. Small, pretty cool, very cute. All right, very good job, Mabel. All right, design champos, thank you so much for being here today and making my day lovely. The light, the beam of light is like, I mean, it's because I'm an angel, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I, I wish it would go away. Tomorrow, there will be another installment of Design Chicken Chicken. Andy is taking on Sabrina. So we'll see if Andy can maintain his throne or, will, or if he will, will be dethroned. <laughs> All right, stay awesome, possum. I'll see you later, alligator. Bye, guys. I love you. Mwah. Double snaps.